What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Dylan Matthews, back at it again with another hometown take. Today, I'm talking about the Atlanta Hawks, and all right, let's cut the crap. That was a terrible game, y'all. Just, ugh, blah, nasty. Just a nasty game. Hawks lose 101 to 126 to the Boston Celtics at home, premier Wednesday night ESPN game, and we just wet the freaking bed. Ugh. We'll break it all down. We'll talk about it because there's a lot to talk about. But before we do that, you know, we got to handle some business first. So make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Check out the link down below. Down below. Ooh, ooh. Also, make sure you turn on your notification bells as well so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream. Might mess around and go live from where I'm at now, Sports Radio 929 The Game, when I'm hosting a show the uh, radio version of the hometown take from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. this Saturday. So might throw up a live for that. Stay tuned and find out. But rock with me on the live um, if I do one Saturday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Also, make sure, I think that's actually that's actually it. So yeah, buy me a coffee if you can. Uh, turn notification bell. Rock with me on the live on Saturday. And that's it. All right. Let's talk about this game because, y'all, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I didn't even want to really come on here and do this video. After seeing this game, it just demoralized me for a few reasons. One, we got blown the heck out. And number two, had prize picks on for DeJounte Murray and Trey Young. Both of them didn't get it. So it was, man, it was a nice uh, a six six way, like parlay flex type of deal. <sighs> Neither one of them. Did what they were supposed to do. So mad at that. Mad that we lost. More more so that we lost. We at least won and they wouldn't have got out been okay because we won. And if they would have, you know, at least got what I needed them to get, as far as stats wise, I would have been happy because they, at least I would have been, you know, in play for my big, you know, big win. But they didn't either. So I'm very upset. Anywho, Hawks, I mean, the story of this game is really just the Hawks. Shot was broke from three to nine, and the Celtics were freaking on fire from three to nine. And it wasn't even who you expect to be on fire, it was randoms, it was their bench. I mean, their bench went crazy, and I mean, the, the starters with the fill in went crazy as well. Grant Williams, 18 points, four seven from three, six to ten from the field, plus seven. Jason Tatum only had 19 points, but he, he was only three to ten from three, six and 19 from the field. He didn't have that great at night. You think, okay, that's good, Al Horford. Uh, only seven points, three or six from the field. Hit a three. Seven points. Okay, that's straight. Well, we'll take that from Big Al. Derek White, 16 points, two or four from three, six of 11. Okay, you could overcome that. That's not too bad. Jalen Brown, though, 22 points, 10 and 17 from the field, one three. Okay, you know, if, if Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum only have 22 and 19, respectively, okay, that's cool. Like, you know, we probably can overcome that. But they're benched, though. Who the freak? is what's this dude's name sam hauser who is sam hauser who is that i've never heard of him until tonight until 7 30 like or really 7 40 p.m i had no idea who sam hauser was he came in here and wrecked us 15 points five of six from three those were his only shots he just shot threes and he made all of them except one Five to six from three, five to six from the field, 15 points, a plus freaking 35. Sam Hauser, goodness freaking gracious. Luke Cornett, what? Who is that? Who is Luke Cornett? He drilled us, 15 points, seven of seven from the field, one of one from three, plus seven, eight rebounds, killed us. I mean, he was going crazy. He got pretty easy buckets though, but still, what? So that's 30 from your bench right there, just between those two. And then Peyton freaking pressure. We know what he's about, though. 14 points, 5 of 8 from the field, 4 of 6 from 3. They got 44 bench points. 44. And those only three guys that scored. It was just those three scoring off the bench. Everybody else on the bench had zero. Zilch. Nada. It was just those three killed us off the bench. 44 bench points. Goodness gracious. And then us, we just couldn't get anything going. By the way, Boston shot 54% from the field, 45% from three, 90% from the free throw line, nine of 10. Hawks, not so great. 41% from the field, 21% from three, putrid. Ah. 
And we were 10 of 13 from the free throw line, 76%. John Collins, 12 points, 6 of 12 from the field, but 0 of 3 from 3. DeAndre Hunter, 13 points, 4 of 13 from the field, 2 of 6 from 3. Blech. Clint Capella, 7 points, uh, 8 rebounds. Blech. Trey Young, 27 points, 2 of 7 from 3, 10 of 23 from the field. Blech. 19 points for uh, DeJounte Murray, 9 of 17 from the uh, field, 1 of 3 from 3. Not bad. Frank Kaminsky hit a three. There's That's all you need to know. Frank Kaminsky was in the game because we had so much garbage time. Yucca Kong only two points. A.J. Griffin only six points. Three of nine from the field, 0 of four from three. Jalen Johnson, seven points. Three of 11 from the field, 0 of four from three. He took four threes, goodness gracious. Aaron Holiday, two points. Trent Forrest was in the game. Cretchy hit a three. Like, what, bro? So, their shot was going down. Our shots weren't going down. That's really the, the story of it. I really don't know what else to tell you. I mean, it, it's a make or miss league. That was the story. They made, we missed. Uh, that was kind of the story behind it because, well, you got out rebounded pretty bad, actually. Uh, 40, 43 to 31 defensively. Well, really, you got a lot of offensive rebounds. 14 to 6 in the offensive rebounding category. So you actually didn't get out rebounded too bad. 49 uh, to 45. So, I'm not going to be too upset about that. Um, you got five steals. They did get eight blocks on you. You only had nine turnovers. You were fairly clean. Celtics had 15. Um, you got 18 points off of turnovers. Celtics only had nine. Fast break points with 15 to 12. That's not terrible. You got you dominated in the paint, 58 to 50. Um, they had way more fouls. I just, you just didn't make shots tonight. I really don't know what else to say that's really all that happened our three-point shot was broke their three-point shot was not broke their three-point shot was very much on tonight 45 percent from three 51 percent from the field they just wasn't really missing tonight y'all that's really all there is to it that's that's the story that's it we gotta shoot better plain and simple um and i don't even it's i don't even dislike the three-pointers we took we didn't even really take our shot selection really wasn't that bad. It's just we didn't knock down our open threes because we had some open threes. We had some solid looks from three. We just did not knock them down. Plain and simple. Just couldn't hit. And they didn't have Marcus Smart or Malcolm Brogdon tonight. You know what? That actually might have helped them because uh, Marcus Smart has only been shooting like 21% from three or something like or maybe 31 or something like that. Malcolm Brogdon has been shooting like 37% from three or something like that. So... Maybe that helped them because they the, the guys they brought in instead, they were shooting the lights out all right. Goodness gracious. So their bench, you talk about three-pointers made. Their bench was, they took 12, 13, they made 10. Their bench players between Sam Hauser, Luke Cornett, and Peyton Pritchard was 10 of 13 from three. Those three guys off the bench who did the only scoring off the bench, 10 of 13 from three. Wow. Three guys, well, two guys I never heard of, and Peyton Pritchard, you know, he's he's actually a solid player. But anyway, y'all, that's really the story of it. I, I don't know what uh, I don't know how else to break it down. If you saw something else in there that you didn't really like, let me know. Again, I you can you can nitpick you can nitpick some stuff. Some of the rotations kind of fell through and they did get some open threes, so they, they gotta rotate a little bit better, but I mean they were just freaking hot, y'all. They, they just had a hot night from three. I don't know what else to tell you. If you got more to say, let me know in the comments down below. Like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, check out the link down below. Down below, ooh, ooh, to buy me coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to some more wins and get us back on track against the Toronto Raptors. Hopefully we can get a win against them. We usually struggle against the Raptors these past couple of years. I feel like it's been tough to get a win against the Raptors, but Hopefully, we'll bounce back. We play them on Saturday in State Farm Arena at home. So, hopefully, we can uh, avenge our home court and avenge this loss and get a dub against the Toronto Raptors. We shall see. But, again, like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, buy me a coffee, link down below, down below, ooh, ooh. and uh, subscribe to my channel if I do a live on Saturday right here at Sports Radio 92.9, the game, hometown take radio version of the hometown take i should say uh, make sure you guys check that out but till i talk to you guys next time keep your heads up it's just one of them nights stay true to atlanta believe in atlanta go hawks
Peace.